Welcome. How did you get here? Through the portal? I guess I should take you to the shaman. It's not far from here. But first, help me get my pet, please. It fell into a hole, and I can't get it out. Hello, my name is Shosh. I'm one of the keepers of the temple complex and gates. For centuries, the gates remained sealed, but it was foretold that one day they would open and the corridor between our worlds would be restored. Yes, you're in another world, but your appearance here is coincidental. A deadly danger may threaten you here, and I need to help you return as quickly as possible. You say that the gates broke right after you passed through them. That's a great pity. Luckily, those weren't the only gates. The rest of them haven't been active for centuries either. However, there is still hope, as the time to activate them has come. The closest gates are not far from this complex. Let me guide you there. I might be able to return you to your world. Look, this is a drilling machine. We're on an island surrounded by lava, and this device is our only way out of here. We just need to start it. Well, the machine isn't starting, but it is the only way to leave the lava island and get home. We shall have to find the engineer who invented the machine. He lives on this very island in a deserted village beyond the bridge. He's a strange fellow, but he's the only one who can repair the machine. <laughs> it's, it's been a while since I had visitors. Uh, what do you need? You want to start the drilling machine to leave the lava island. Oh, so you'll need some fuel. That's crystals processed in a special way. I'll be glad to help you. Uh, while I'm preparing everything, you get hold of the crystals. You you should find them in the cave. Oh, oh, oh and then help me to take away a part from that monkey. Keep the crystals. I don't need them. Thank you! The device is in the yard, and I'll give you the key. Simply place the crystals from the cave inside it and run the device. It will clean the crystals and ready them for the drilling machine. Good luck! <laughs> This is the Temple of the Sun. There, we'll find exactly the same kind of gates as the ones you came through. Let's get inside and try to send you back home. Shama 
Ivan and the woman are close. Let's hurry before they open the gates. Bring the rest. The gates are located in this temple, but they're well hidden. Only we shamans know how to find them. The shaman was captured by some people he called Tahunga. They took the crystal and now I can't return home. I must find another way out. Who are you? How did you get here? Don't tell me you came through the tomb labyrinth. You're looking for the shaman. I just saw the Tahunga flying their birds from the temple and heading for the clouded pyramids. I think they were carrying an unconscious man. He might be the one you're looking for. If you want to catch them, look for the raiders. They're the only ones who can help you. I'm heading north, and I can take you and show you the way, if you want. So, while I'm packing up, help me catch the animals plundering my garden, or I'll have no harvest when I return. One more thing. I need a sack of flour. I'd be grateful if you could help me get it. Excellent. We can leave now. Huh. I don't know why my buffalo won't use that leg. Maybe he's hurt. You'll find the harpy tree beyond this swamp. The raiders live there. They raise these strange birds and know how to fly them. If you want to get to the clouded pyramids, ask them for help. You'll also have to cross the marsh, but I can't help you with that. Well, take care. If you manage to reach the pyramids, keep in mind that the Tahunga aren't the hospitable type. Don't pay with your life for the journey. Farewell.
Well, well, well. Who dares come here uninvited? You look strange, girl. Where are you from? From other lands? Looking for a shaman? And you need raiders for this? I'll help you. You know, getting to the raider's tree is tricky. Hyannas with sharp thorns can kill anyone who attempts to climb the tree on their own. However, there's a special potion. One drop of that, and all the Lyannas will let you pass. I'll give it to you under one condition. Uh, since you know the shamans, bring me one thing. A mask of reincarnation. It's hidden in a cache inside the tomb. One only shamans can get into. I've got the key, though. Bring me the mask, and I'll help you. Oh, thank you for the mask. You can't even imagine how precious it is to me. You can ask for anything in exchange. I'll give you the potion I promised, and anything else you desire. Oh, it's time for me to go, unfortunately. But if you need anything, just take it. Don't be shy. Good day. You want to get to the Tahunga in the Clouded Pyramids? You know that's suicide, right? You say that Tahunga captured your friend, the Shaman? Oh, I doubt he's still among the living. Anyway, none of my people would risk a flight there. But, if you're determined to go, I can sell you a harpy and teach you to control. If you've got enough gold, that is. I guess this should be enough gold. Now, listen carefully, and I'll tell you how to control a harpy. These wonderful birds grow here, right on the tree. They materialize right from the wood. But for the bird to come to life and turn into a faithful helper, you need a special potion. A potion of bonding. You need to pour it onto a blossoming bird and drink some yourself. After that, a special bond will be established between the two of you, so that even at a distance the bird will hear your thoughts and understand what you want from it. That's how the bird shows its gratitude for you for bestowing life upon it. I'll give you the potion recipe. All you've got to do is to brew it. Also, you'll need a special helmet. The potion is made of many ingredients, and it won't be easy to brew it. I'd better return to the merchant. I saw a lab there. Someone has come. Can you save me? The Tahunga brought me on a bird just like yours. They wanted to sacrifice me, but I managed to escape. I fell into the water, so the Tahunga must have thought I drowned. I've been wandering through these mountains for days, trying to hide from them. I'm very tired, and I'm starving. I can help you get into the pyramids, but please, give me some food first. you. Come, and I'll show you the passage to where the Tahunga are. I saw them pass through a door in the waterfall. For the door to appear, we'll need a special key, which is hidden in that building nearby. This secret path leads straight into the pyramid of the High Tahunga. It's rarely used. I'll stay here, but promise you'll return and bring me back home? Well, Shosh, are you satisfied? You let them into our world. But we're the gods here. 
and no stranger is welcome. But I'm grateful to you, Shash, you know. I will destroy their world, and the prophecy will never come true. Look. Look what I will do to their planet. get inside. Oh, that doesn't matter. You must release me at once. Now it's not just you and I who are in danger. Your whole world is at risk. We need to stop Axar, the High to Hunga. He's planning to use all his power to destroy your world. He's been preparing this for centuries. Now he's opening the gate to your world to send a large gust of energy, capable of destroying your whole planet. I think I know where to find him, and how to stop him. Quickly, let's go. World. If we swap it for the key crystal from this world, it will destroy the gates. <laughs> 